having fun and making money. See, I understand you savages need to be entertained to get off your butts and do stuff. I get it. Other than the 5% who take this information and run with it. So here's a quandary. Can you have fun and make money? The question is, the answer to that question is a bona fide yes. However, before the fun begins, you got to put some stuff into place that's not so fun. Everybody who makes money online has many of the similar issues. Website issues, shopping cart issues, uh, payment issues, refund issues, and that ain't fun. Getting that money. You know, every day I get multiple uh, PayPal and Stripe notifications. Every day. That's money that, you know, you know, it happens when I'm sleeping. That's fun. It happens when I'm walking. That's fun. It happened when I was in the hospital. That's fun. But to get to that fun part, because it's exciting to see a PayPal or Stripe notification going across your screen, that means you got some money. But how does one get there? So here is the secret sauce. What you got to do is put together your website. Everybody who's trying to make money online needs a website. I know there are many folks who are like, I don't use Facebook, and that's very risky. I'll just use YouTube and have a lead pro page or something like that. You need a website. I have hustlerskungfulifeskills.com, which is a portal of my training courses, moneyincomeandprofit.com, and the Hustlers Mindset, thinkingfifth.com. I got three internet properties that make me money every day. So you're going to need something that you control. I have an email list. That's mine. You need one of those. A lot of this stuff is not fun to build. It's not fun to maintain. The fun comes after you build it. So you're going to need a period of time where you're not having fun making money. To get to the fun part of making money because unless you build these systems you're not going to make any money that's the the rub you know you must build it you must set it up before the money comes in and there are many of you who don't understand how the internet works because you're not an architect of the internet you don't know how email works um, you don't know how Google AdWords work, Facebook advertising. You don't, you don't know how any of this stuff works. And that learning this stuff is not fun. Facebook ads have changed their whole platform over the last few months. So typically, the people who were running Facebook ads and knew how to, they are aware of the changes. And that's one of the benefits of being in the know, you know, getting started. And getting started from scratch, whoo, that ain't fun. Because you, you, all you see is everyone around you so far ahead. And I'm going to tell you to ignore those people. You should be competing with yourself. Like, I don't look at Frank Kern or Grant Cardone. I don't look at any of those guys in terms of, well, they're so far ahead of me. I look at them as, wow, those guys are doing a great job. They're making a lot of money. I admire them. That's as far as it goes. Because I'm only in competition with myself. I'm only in competition with my last year's numbers. If I beat last year's numbers, I win. If last year's numbers are greater than this year's number, I lose. I suck. That ain't fun. So you, you got to start building some stuff. You got to become an architect of the Internet and putting together some things. Because one of the things that I'm seeing, and I've told you guys about this, and a lot of you don't want to do it because you don't want to make videos, you don't want to put your face out there because you just scared. See my video, fear. There is no money in the big environment of fear. No money. No money there. And many of you are scared because you're going to need a YouTube channel, a podcast, a Facebook group, an Instagram account, a Twitter account, or some other thing. There's a few more things. But you're going to need one of those as a driver of your business, of your online business. 
And building these, like podcasting can be fun. Building a YouTube channel can be fun. I'm going to get ready to do a YouTube course called Inbound Money because that's how I do it. I don't go, I don't call people. I don't even have a posted phone number, uh, much too many of you chagrin because a lot of you just want to call up and ask questions, asking all these questions, asking all these questions. And typically, because of the way that the channel skewed, because I got my 5%, folks out here killing dragons, taking names, making money, and the other 95% still like fin to. When I get it right, when I get my when my money get right, man, hey Glennon, I'm gonna buy your courses when I get some money. That that 95%, y'all gotta get busy because see. One thing that is happening, this used to be easy compared to the way it is today. Because, you know, when I started YouTube, I thought it was hard because I had no perspective, nothing to compare it to. But back then, it was so easy. It was so easy to get attention. And what's happening is these doors are starting to close. It's, gonna, it's very hard to build an Instagram account. It's very hard to build a YouTube channel. It's very hard to build a podcast. Well, guess what? It's going to be harder five years from now whenever you get your money together and you get started. The longer you wait, the harder it's going to become. This is why you see, because I'm, I'm going to tell you, online courses are here to stay. And online education is a multi-billion dollar market and it's growing. And, you know, um, you need to put some courses together if you have expertise in anything. There's a guy who made $2 million teaching people how to do handstands. Uh, there's a, you know, there's so many things that you can do if you ain't scared, if you're not living in the fear, because you want to have fun. And I'm here to tell you the fun doesn't start until the, you start making some money. Like when I was building this YouTube channel, I worked six months on it full time, didn't make a dime. But see, I knew that I had to sow some, sow, you know, sow some seeds. I had to plant some seeds and tend my garden to get a bountiful crop. And many of you expect to go out there and there's going to be some tomatoes. There's going to be some corn. There's going to be some green beans. There's going to be some cabbages overnight. Y'all looking for these steroid vegetables. And it ain't going to happen. It's not going to happen. What I'm telling you, if you want to build a durable online business, and I'm, this is from someone whose business has been making money for nine years and six months, longer than a lot of people's careers, shoot, longer than a lot of people's marriages. And I'm about to enter into my second phase. So I have already have a name. I'm already, you know, established. Like people like, well, we Google, you Google, you Google me, you'll find certain things. And one of the things, because uh, very soon there's going to be a podcast. And I'm thinking about doing, going hard on the dominant man. Because I, I will tell you, I will share something with you. The Influence Frame, the male channel, only has 1,200 subscribers. But that channel has made like $60,000. $60,000. And I'm like, man, because, you know, uh, there are so many business podcasts, but there is no dominant man podcast. There's no one talking about the things I'm talking about on the influence frame because there's a burner over there right now. And so more than likely, that's what's going to be the dominant man and the philosophy of the dominant man and you know it's going to be different content than what's on the youtube channel because i will get to wax you know, philosophical and talk about the philosophy and many things because you know i'm gonna leave the story times on youtube because they seem to do very well on youtube but i'm probably going to do the podcast a little bit more professionally because it's going to be a mix of dominant men and BDSM because there ain't a lot of people here on YouTube that can talk about that from a position of having done it. 
I've had many submissives. I've been in the lifestyle for many years. And I can teach and educate men on how to do this. And I, I think that's going to be it, the Dominant Male Podcast. Because it can be fun, because I can talk a lot of stuff. And I got my, my new light here, which is making me look so crisp and delicious. And this, I got all the equipment for that. So probably the Dominant Man podcast, because I'm not going to do the Hustlers Kung Fu podcast. Because I've got almost 10 years of content on this channel about starting businesses. That's a lot of content. And a lot of you, you know, someone asked me the other day, like, what playlist should I listen to? And one of the things is you can poke around because the playlists are identified. There, there's a few dozen of them. And listen to all of them because the philosophy is the same. So I, I am thinking about doing a Hustlers Kung Fu clothing line. That could be interesting because I've seen a lot of people because, you know, the dominant male with the Hustlers Kung Fu clothing line, my own gear, and someone asked about these shirts and stuff. Uh, look, when I present the hats and the shirts, y'all don't buy that stuff. And I, I figure out why, because the designs are not fresh enough. Because I knew if I built a shirt and made the design super fresh, y'all would go ahead and get that. And I, I think I'm going to invest a little time in that. Because that's having fun in making money. So what was your ideal of making money and having fun look like? What would you be doing? How would you be dropping it? How would you be making this money? As this little kid says, this Wi-Fi bread. I love that. Let's get this Wi-Fi bread. Get this internet money. Because that's the future. That's where it's going. And, you know, I may not even do, because I'm bringing back framework how to start an online business because typically this is what's going to make you successful. Not throwing up a Shopify store or putting together a Facebook group, but studying your intended audience before you launch. That's going to be the difference between the success you have. Like I knew that there was an audience for storage auctions. Didn't know how big, but I knew because from people coming out there all confused and stuff. So a how-to guide will be hit. And it did. I know that men are confused. This is why the dominant male is kicking booty. And I'm probably going to add some other masculinity courses and some other stuff. So there's going to be a whole trio of information over there about dominant masculinity. Because... Many men act like children because they don't have rites of passage. You know, it's just like you, a man, you got your dangalang, go and search your dangalang and Miss Betty, Miss Sue. You do that. And there is no, because like I, I, I have said it before and I'm going to say it again. I don't think you should be having children unless you're married. I think children deserve both parents. And that's just like a quaint ideal to many of y'all who or going out here having kids left and right without being married, or having multiple baby mamas, and you got all these stepkids, and it's from a, from a kid who was born in that situation. There's many painful memories wondering, like, who's my daddy? I wonder what he looked like. Why ain't he here? This this is what your your kid's gonna ask. Your kid's gonna like, huh? Mommy and daddy ain't married. They will take note of that. They will never, they may never say a word because they're kids. But I think if you as a man are going to have some kids, you should identify the appropriate woman to have them with. Now, I did that once and it didn't work out, but at least I tried. And then I got bamboozled into a situation who literally just threw TNT on it and completely blew it up. So I've been absolved from that responsibility, not because I didn't want to be there, because she had a point to prove. And this is why a lot of kids don't have fathers. It's because the mother is irretractably horrible and no one wants to say anything. But I'll say it for the fellas. There's a lot of trash moms out there. And if you're a mom that's preventing the father from being with his kid, you are a trash mom. 
I understand being the mothers of handy thing because that's the most power you will ever have in life. Absolute power over another organic being. I get that. It's a heady thing. You got all this power. But see, you got all this responsibility. And that's what a lot of y'all whine about because, you know, I ain't getting no child support. He ain't. Because, see, you want your child support and you want the power and command. And, you know, and ain't, a lot of dudes like, I ain't going to give you that. And what's happening is, you know, they're changing the laws. You won't be able to abort little JoJo. So you're going to be forced to carry this burden alone based on your bad attitudes and the poor choices you make. And that's one of the things of why there needs to be the dominant male course, because typically, you know, I was thinking there is a bunch of chicks that I could have had a kid with. It wouldn't have went that way. But this one fool, the universe connected me with the fool, most foolish person on the face of the planet. But that's neither here nor there. It's about making money and having fun. The process of making money is fun. Every day when I transfer money from my PayPal account or I get my Stripe uh, account deposit on Thursdays, those are nice days. I mean, it's like, oh, oh I got this today. Let me transfer it over here. And I've got money going in uh, to one Stripe account in two PayPal accounts. I'm getting that Wi-Fi bread. That's fun. That's fun. So what are you going to do? What are you going to do to make money and have fun? What are your ideals? Because don't put up a comment, hey, you know, I feel like I should, you know, start a recycling truck. Is that a good idea? Stop asking for permission to pursue your dreams and live your life, boy. Stop asking for permission. You got this whole thing called Google where you can research whatever you want to do, ups and downs. And whenever someone asks me one of those questions, I'm very dismissive because you're not serious. You ain't serious at all. you just hoping for an answer like somebody will give me the keys to the universe and all the, the locks will open up and I'll get this easy money. Ain't going to happen, bro. It's not going to happen. But for those of you, my 5%, who are taking action, kicking names, that's who's buying these courses every day, the 5%. The folks who, like uh, one gentleman posted, he's like, I took your courses and doubled my income. And also to the folks who, like, want to see me interview one of my students, just go ahead and say you don't believe me when I say this stuff will make you successful. Just go ahead and say that. Because one of the things I learned when I did 30 Days to 2500 you can have two people get the same information and one person is going to have radically different results. So I can bring people on here all day long and because they happen, they pop up in the comments. They, and it still ain't going to help you. That's the thing you don't understand. I know referrals and testimonials help push sales because maybe you can see someone you can relate to. You're like, yeah, that's my dude. That's my girl. I can relate to her. Let me go ahead and get this course. I can be like my girl, right? Results are not guaranteed because there's no standard behavior in humanity. Some of y'all lazy. Some of y'all have educational problems. Some of y'all just ain't living right. So you're not going to get the same results. And once again, just because this one person gets this result, doesn't mean that you're going to get a similar result because you saw them and they talked about their process uh, or relatability. Someone told me, because I'm not the average person. I don't even know how the average person feels. That's why I ask a lot of questions. But I, I've been pulled before. I know what that feels like. And I know I don't want that no more. And neither should you. You should be about making that Wi-Fi bread. And right now, there are so many podcasts, there's so much information, there ain't no excuse for you to say, I don't have the right information. There's like so many people you can listen to that can teach you how to make money online. Legit. Pick one and focus. 
so you can make money and have fun. Because five years from now, it's going to be way harder than it is today. As someone who's been making money online for 20 years, I remember the early days of eBay, the early days of Amazon. It was so easy to make money. At one point, 68% of our profits were coming from eBay because it was so easy. Just put some, you know, buy a unit for 10 bucks, get like 50 to 100, like 400 pieces, list each piece on eBay for 99 cents before the night was over. Already made the money back, spent on the unit plus a profit. It was so easy. People paid, people sent money orders. People like international buyers weren't picky. They were like, oh, glad you do international shipping. Great. Here's whatever you ask for. I remember the early days and it gets harder and harder every year. So the longer you wait, the longer that you are shaping some stuff up and the longer you delay getting started, the harder it's going to be because I'm telling you, they coming. And you got kids who are growing up with this Wi-Fi bread who know the internet better than you do. You know, did you know there's a uh, a programming program for Amazon Alexa where people can go in and create prescriptive programming and get paid? There's a kid making $10,000 a month from a script he wrote for Alexa. You didn't even know about that because you ain't on the internet. There are so many ways to make money and have fun online. Do your research. Stop asking questions. Start becoming a student of the internet. Instagram accounts. You can have fun and make money. YouTube channel. You can have fun and make money. Facebook group. You can have fun and make money. And I, I want to do a Facebook group for the dominant man. And I'm going to have a very strict rule. And I'm probably going to hire some people to be moderators. Because the last group I had, people wanted to post what I call simp comment simp simp content like you know oh look oh god this is happening to this dude well, remember uh influence frame we are a solution seeking organization we don't complain we don't commiserate we saw problems so look for that because the dominant male group is going to be crazy because see i need people to go through this course to put them in the group because I'm probably just, you know, once I get some more people, I probably just bring them into the group and we could talk about this dominant male lifestyle because it's better than being an average dude. I can tell you, I'm making money, having fun, and living my best life. Living my best life. And understand, you could live your best life if you would take action and stop procrastinating, stop taking your time, stop being scared. You just scared because I've done my part. There's videos on this YouTube channel that will teach you how to make money for free, how to find gold at a garage in the state sales is one of them. I've had several people watch the video, take action. Oh man, we made $14,000. Oh, man, we made $15,000. So it ain't the information. It's you and your janky butt. You scared. You scared of success. You scared of the unknown. You're scared of what your friends going to think. You scared of Ziggy786 who left a whack comment on your YouTube channel and got you shook. And you don't even know Ziggy766 living at home in his mama's basement with a beard and pimples. You just scared. And that fear is going to cost you. As my previous video. You're getting poorer and older. For reals. Take action today. I got something to help you. And we're going to roll this wonderful commercial footage now. Today, business school is in session. Learn how to make money, increase your wealth. One of the biggest problems I have is that people come to the YouTube channel, they'll see me and they want to get something, but they don't know where to start. 
So I have solved that problem today. If you're brand new, welcome. We're glad to have you. Look forward to serving you a long, long time. If you want to get this knowledge, if you want to start a business, I have created a blueprint, a roadway for you to actually start making changes in your life. Because this is one of the things that I have learned. When I was doing 30 days to 2,500, I learned that there were some people who did better than others. And I was like, why are these people doing better than other people? What's going on with these people? And what I have discovered, and let's see, let me go ahead and hit that. What I've discovered is that people who came in with a business already, they did really well with 30 days to 2,500. Remarkably well. It was like mind blowing for some of them. Then there were people who didn't do well. And these were people who did not have a strong mindset or were not in business. So what I've des designed is for you to go through this pathway, because essentially when I get someone who's brand new to the channel and they've never had a business, there is so much work that has to be done. I mean, I know there's folks on the internet that makes owning the business, running the business look super easy and it's not. And it's one of the most complicated things that you'll do in your life. But once again, people want the path of least resistance. That is not what we're going to have. So we're going to go here and we're going to go under all right, so this is where you start. This is the uh, blueprint. First thing you're going to do is get the hustler's mindset, pimping your mind for success. That's your free audio book. That's where you're going to start getting that mind correct. Then you're going to move to this. Money management is the basics of finance and wealth development. Before you get new money, you must optimize the money you already have. If you, as it was said in the part of the live stream this morning, if you don't manage a little bit of money well, you're not going to manage a lot of money well. It's the same person. The only thing that changes is the money. Look at the number of athletes who go broke because they've never learned how to manage money. They never learned how to compartmentalize, how to do the five checking account blueprint. They've not done that. So this is the, the first course you need. Now, I keep telling everybody that. I've had a lot of people who take this course and they booked a consult because they wanted to know more. So this is the course that you need. Then after that, we're going to go to the third course, becoming the boss. You have to make this mental shift about being into a producer mode. So this is the third course you will take. And one of the things that I've done is I've priced this stuff so well that, you know, there, there is a few of you who are kind of sitting back, who are emailing me like, hey, I want to buy these courses. What's the best price you can give me? That never works. Those deals never materialize because they were required for me to sit on email and go back and forth with people all day. And it just typically doesn't work out. Uh, the courses are so economical. All right, this is what you're going to get after becoming the boss. This will be your fourth course, uh, the Power of Six Productivity course. This course will help you get stuff done. This is a habit that you need to develop, how to manage your time, how to get stuff done. When you start a business, there's going to be so many things to do that this course will help you learn how to get stuff done how to, what's the priority, what's not priority. This course will do it for you. 
All right. So the fifth course you would get scripted days. This is a life changing course. I think it's too cheap, but I want you guys to benefit. It will give you the power of written manifestation. It will straighten out your uh, bad habits. It will put you on the path of productive success. It will teach you how to, you know, set up a morning ritual, set up an evening ritual. A lot of things. This will be the fifth course. Now, these five courses in the free audio book will build a foundation. When I was doing 30 Days for 2500, I had some students do amazingly well, and some students struggled. The people who did well already had A, a business, or B, a superior mindset. The foundational courses will give you the superior mindset. Let's say you're a person who wants to start a business but have no clue to where to start. This next section is for you. Typically, business success comes from practicing business skills. One of the best ways to do that is by reselling. You got to get your feet wet. This is where you will start with the reselling courses. Uh, this is a collection that gives you the storage auction book, the pimping Craigslist stuff, all of this stuff to get you geared for resale. How to have a great garage sale, all that. Now, once you've gotten the first five courses, your next move will be 30 days to 2,500. This course is for people who need to learn how to sell and how to sell and set up business. It will be thought provoking. This is also a good course for people with established businesses. Remember how I told you the people who had already businesses did extremely well. So go ahead. You know, if you have a business owner, if you go through because 30 days to 2,500 is a long course, it's going to take you about two months to go through it. But it'll be well worth it because in these two months, you're going to learn stuff. It's going to open up your eyes. It's going to create new shifts in how you think and how you do business. All right. Uh, the seventh course will be asking for the money, how to be an Uber salesperson. Now, don't get this course unless you have something to sell. Just reading a book or reading a book about sales without having something to sell is a waste of time. You need to actually read about it and put this stuff into practice. And once again, uh, for all you folks who keep asking me about the Luponics book, I don't know the name. Can't remember the name of it. All I know is it had a red and black cover. Can't help you. People keep like, man, it sounds dope. What's the name? I don't know the name, man. I don't know the name. Just had to put that out there. All right. And for the business owners, this will be defined as people making money and paying their bills with the proceeds from the business. You know, if you got like a side business or something, and this might be for you, but this is for the business owners. You should get the art of holding on how to set up your legal structure. Structure. If you're a business owner making money, you are a target and you will need to protect yourself. Now, for the people who want to save some money, I have a curated bundle with all the courses except the art of holding to get you started and get your business aspirations. So this is the bundle that includes most of the courses. There you go. So if you are new to the channel and you're like, hey, where do I start? That's the pathway. That's the pathway to get started because from a foundational standpoint, you need to establish the foundation before you get off into trying to start your business. Because like I said, you know, I, I got a ton of feedback from 30 days to 2,500. And if I had been thinking, I would have did this like way sooner, but essentially taking those lessons derived from that course you got people who are not mentally prepared to start a business. It's, it doesn't mean that they can't become mentally prepared. It's just a process. It's going to take them a little time to, you know, like you got kids. All kids don't learn at the same rate. You got some kids who learn slower, and but they can still get there. And essentially, this is what you will be going through with the foundational courses. They will help you get your mind right. This will help you get your mind right.
the DSL Chronicles. Hell yeah, they ain't gonna buy people. I mean, seriously, I I, I pretty much ignore those folks because I've been down that path before. Typically, the people who are like, I want this course, I want this course, I want this course, and who want to talk to me. Uh, the number one reason that people want to talk to me is to get permission to do what they think they want to do. This like, well, if Glendon thinks this is cool. No, you, you need to give yourself permission. You need to validate yourself. You need to um, believe in yourself. Mike Ellie, this ain't no theory. This ain't no theory, man. These courses have come from my business experience. There is no theory here. Let's see. After Johnson, me and my cousin got busy today. We had a hard time starting a generator. It wouldn't start for our mobile watch, but we strung it together. Made a hundred bucks for a few hours. See, once you go through this transformation, once you get that first good sale, that first load of money, it becomes addictive. It becomes very addictive. Now, what I'm going to do for the, you know, starting next week, there's going to be a lot of new training. So I'm going to do a video probably Sunday or Monday talking about the new training and how you can get a hold of that. Now, if you have never started a business, this stuff is good for you, especially 30 days to 2,500. And the money management course, I've heard, got a lot of feedback from that. People like it. It has helped them manage their finances because here's the thing. If you go ahead and start making a lot of money with your bad money management habits right now, it's the money is just, you're not going to get the best use of the money. You, you need to learn how to hold on the money. And this is what the course teaches you. So, you know, next week we will get into um, the, the new stuff. But the new stuff will build on this. It won't be the same information. It'll be new information and more of it for business owners. I don't really have a lot of courses for business owners other than the art of holding maybe 30 days to 2500 and asking for the sale those are only courses for business owners uh, a lot of this stuff is side hustle stuff uh beginning business person so once again just go ahead you know if you're brand new to the channel you just found this welcome thank you appreciate you um this is what we're going to do. Michael Gardner. So it's true. This guy I'm working for in real estate made like 15K and spent it all. People, that thirst, you know, that, that, that thirst is a big, big problem. That build up thirst of you wanting stuff, you want to live a certain lifestyle. Once again, the money management course will help you with that. Let's see where we are. Cool. Because what I'm, this is going to be a very short live stream because I'm going to take it down and I'm going to put it at the end of all the newer videos. So people who are coming into the fold, you know, the new folks, because I've got a lot of new folks. I get, you know, emails and stuff like, hey, Glennon. Man, I'm really excited. I like what you're saying. But where do I start? This is where you start. Okay. So all of the information is below. You can start with your first five foundation courses. Then start going wild on the other stuff. And very soon I will have some new information that will build on these principles that will take you to the next level. So with that, I will see you guys later.